question number 51. Let's read it. Ratio of the wave number of the first line of Lyman series of hydrogen atom to the first line of Balmer series of helium ion will be. Student, here we have to calculate the ratio of wave number. So, first of all, I am writing the formula to calculate wave number. Wave number is equals to 1 upon lambda, which is equals to Rh Z square 1 upon N1 square minus 1 upon N2 square. Here, Rh represents Rydberg constant, Z represents atomic number, and then N1 and N2 are the number of shells. So, student, first of all, I am calculating the wave number for hydrogen atom. So, here it is Rh. The value of Z for hydrogen is 1. It will be 1 square. And then for hydrogen atom, we have to calculate the wave number of first line of Lyman series. So, student, for Lyman series, the value of N1 is 1. Because here it is first line. So, value of N2 will be 2 square. Which is ultimately equals to 3 upon 4 Rh. Now, students, let's calculate the wave number for helium ion. Rh, the value of Z for helium is 2. So, 2 square minus 1 upon. Since here we are asked Balmer series, so the value of N1 will be 2. And first line, that means the value of N2 will be 3 square, which is ultimately equals to 5 upon 9. R H. Student, but here in this question we have to answer in ratio wave number of hydrogen atom upon wave number of helium ion is equals to 3 upon 4 R H upon 5 upon 9 R H which is equals to 27 upon 20. That means the correct answer is represented in option number 3. Here I am writing answer is option number 3. Moving to next question which is question number 52. Let's read it. SO3 is isostructural with. Students, here we are given with SO3. So let's draw the structure of SO3. This is trigonal planar. In case of PCl3, phosphorus has one lone pairs and three bond pairs. Therefore, the shape will be pyramidal. Then ClF3, chlorine has three bond pairs and two lone pairs. The shape will be bent T shape. Next, we are given with SO3, 2 minus. Student, here, sulfur has one lone pair and three bond pair. The shape will be pyramidal. Then, last, we have BCL3. Boron has three bond pairs only and the shape is trigonal planar. So, it is very clear that SO3 is isostructural with BCL3. Both the species are ice. Both the species have triagonal planar shape. That means the correct answer is option number 4. Moving to next, we have question number 53. Let's read it. Paramagnetic species among the following is R. Student, the species which have unpaired electrons present in them are paramagnetic. Among the given species, only B2 has unpaired electrons present. That means B2 is paramagnetic and rest N2 and O2 2 minus both are diamagnetic. So, the correct answer is number 2. I am also writing the electronic configuration of B2. B2, the total number of electrons are 10. Sigma 1s2, sigma star 1s2. Sigma 2s2, Sigma star 2s2, then we have pi 2px and then pi 2py and both the orbitals will acquire one electron each. That means there are two unpaired electrons. As a result, B2 is paramagnetic in nature and the answer is option number 2. Moving to next question, which is question number 54. 
Let's read it. For multi electron system, the increasing order of energy of the orbitals 4d, 4f, 5s, and 4p is. Student, here we are given with multi electron system. And for a multi electron system, the energy of orbital depends upon n plus l value higher the n plus l value higher will be the energy of that particular orbital so students let's calculate the n plus l value of the given orbitals number one we have 4d then we have 4f then we have 5s and last we have 4p let's calculate n plus l value for 4d the value of n is 4 and the value of l is 2 that means total we have 6 for 4f the value of n is 4 and the value of l is 3 so that means 7 for 5s the value of n is 5 and the value of l is 0 that means 5 for 4p the value of n is 4 and the value of l is 1 that means 5 so student it is very clear that i am writing the order of energies highest we have 4f then we have 4d but when we talk about 5s and 4p the n plus l value for both the orbitals are same in this case the orbital which has a higher value for principal quantum number that is n will have higher energy so it is very clear that the energy of 5s is greater than that of 4p that means the correct order is represented in option number 2 so here i am writing answer is option number moving to next question which is question number 55 let's read it wavelength of electron in the second orbit of helium ion is we are given with a Bohr orbit of hydrogen atom which is 52.9 picometer so student first of all we will be calculating the radius of second orbit of helium ion and then we will be able to calculate the wavelength of electron in the second orbit of helium ion student we know the formula to calculate radius radius is equals to 52.9 into n square upon z picometer here we have to calculate the radius of the second orbit of helium ion so r2 is equals to 52.9 the value of n is 2 that means 2 into 2 is 4 and the value of z is 2 because uh, atomic number of helium is 2 that means 105.8 picometer student so now we have to calculate wavelength and for that the formula required is n lambda is equals to 2 pi r n the value of n is 2 so 2 lambda is equals to 2 pi the value of radius is 105.8 so lambda is equals to 2 into pi into 105.8 upon 2 which is equals to 105.8 pi picometer that means the correct answer is option number one moving to next question 